Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to create and work with 3D text in After Effects. You can use this for making intros, titles, anything you want really. But right now I'll just show you how to do it. Um, so first off you want to create a new composition. And this is all up to you here. But in advance you want to go change the renderer from Classic 3D to Ray Trace 3D. And then click OK. And this warning will happen. And then you want to basically create a 3D scene, so you want to go to layer, new, camera, then click OK. And this is the camera you'll be using, and you can move this around. I won't for, um, so the tutorial is nice and quick. Then you want to make a light, I use a point light. Um, just position this wherever you want it to be. And finally, go and write the text. So I'm just going to write 3D text. Okay, and then you can click and drag it to your preferred size. Put it up here. Down here, you may need to click toggle switches and modes, and to to make the 3D button visible. And in this, you want to click here, the little box. And this may take a while to render because it's changing from 2D to 3D. Okay, I'm back and. Now it has finished rendering the preview. Um, a good thing to do if you have a slower computer like I do is to go down to the the resolution of the preview and change it from quarter um, to go to customs and then custom and render every 16 pixels horizontally. This will make it quite blurry, but then at least you can see roughly what you're doing. Um, you can also go into layer new sol Sorry. Layer new solid, and you can make a background from this. Um, so let's just do a red and drag it down to the bottom. So that actually looks really bad. So, but anyway, you can just drag whatever and leave it in the 2D space so that it'll just be behind everything. Then you want to go and click on your text, click the down arrow, click geometry options, and increase the extrusion depth. And we can just go back to quarter quickly. And as you can see, it's all 3D. Here is the camera, so you can go to the front or the left to see the extrusion, or even the top, which will show you your text from the top. Then you want to click on active camera to go to this cam. You've already got a pretty cool looking thing. Um, so if you're working with it, the text and animating it, um, it's a good idea to hold down press caps lock um, when you want to change different options like the scale, increase the scale and see it won't refresh it until you release caps lock. So you can change a whole bunch of things without your computer going crazy. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a really nice computer, then you won't have to do this. Um, but anyway, there we are with our changed stuff. A good trip tick trick is to use um, easy ease when you're animating your text. So basically we can click position, then a while later we can move it down here and now this will just move straight down um, like that. Let's see if we can get a RAM preview quite quickly and actually never mind that but see it goes straight down um, but if you wanted to kind of ease in ease out you can right click the keyframes keyframe assistant easy ease and that will make it start off slowly and then speed up and then go back down slowly so it really looks like it's starting moving and then stopping. The rotations will just change what the text looks like. And you can animate these as well to make it turn and whatever. Um, at zero, it's just like... So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can make a text intro. Please link it in the comments if you would like me to look at it. Goodbye.